Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, yesterday was a ripper. Where did it rip to? Right where we talked about, right up to the middle band, middle Bollinger band. It's hard to see with the with the FIB cluster there, but the middle band is uh, 85.50 today. Uh, it was around there yesterday. So it made the move we were looking for. Just did it all in one day. Um, and there was a lot of anticipation yesterday into the close that a deal was done. Um, what we did, we were long 50. We got out of it in the 70s. Um, we started getting short uh, in the in the 80s. And then uh, when the meeting broke and we had that downdraft, we went ahead and covered there for for you know. So yesterday was a couple real nice trades for us. Uh, but you have to ask yourself the following. Where is a deal priced in? Is a deal priced in at 89? Is that a deal? Or can we do more? Uh, I think the 73 level that we hit yesterday during the downdraft needs to be tested. Um, it, it was made, you know, I'm always leery of reaction lows that are made in off hours. And, and that 73 was a reaction low. So a move down is not out of the question. Uh, additionally, uh, with gold doing what it's doing right now, gold's down 2%. It's traded as low as 1259.60. Um, uh, oil is down 2%. Uh, it's traded as low as uh, $100.60 on the um, on the futures. Um, you know, there there's the environment to test that 73. That said, if the deals are fairly persistent with respect to uh, you know, getting a deal done, that's definitely going to keep a bid under the market. If 89 continues to be a problem, though, then the chances of going down and, and testing some of these deeper areas are, uh, are, are more likely. Uh, plus, you know, don't, don't think, this is not done. It's not done until it's done. And even when it is done, it's only for six weeks, probably. So you have to respect the big picture of what's going on in Washington. And one headline could knock us down s substantially. So continue to use stops. I do think that, uh, you know, going into yesterday, I said the risk, there was much more risk in, uh, in being short than being long. And I would have said that the opposite was true back on Tuesday and Wednesday. At this point, it's very difficult. Uh, we're trading 84. You've got 89 highs. You've got a reaction low down at 73. And as long as we continue to drift in this 80 to, to 82 area, uh, you know, it's um, it's really kind of a no man's land. So you have to wait for some of these extreme areas to get tested, uh, and then you can go ahead and do your trading from there. But flipping a coin down on 83, you know, to 80 to 83 uh, may work out and it may not. But don't go screw up your week uh, by over trading on Friday. So everybody have an amazing weekend. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Uh, subscribe to the website, and you'll get uh, the, the videos and the pivots much earlier than, than anybody else does, and it's a lot easier than digging through your timeline on Twitter. Uh, come check out the chat room. Uh, you know, we're, we're posting some nice trades this week, so uh, come, come take a trial and see if we can help out with your trading. Okay, I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Take care. Trade them well.